today we tackle the drugstore eyeshadow palette situation. So I'm going to be a little bit harder on myself than I have been. I have to be. <laughs> Alright, here is the situation at hand. I'm going to go through by brand. Okay, so here are all of my Milani palettes. I am going to keep all of these. This is a really good dupe for the um, Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, but it's all matte. These are gorgeous palettes. I love these Earthy Elements palettes, so all of these are safe. Next are these two elf palettes these are gorgeous and i think that these would make a really good like bigger palette um but these i'm keeping both of these um this is the mad for mats and then this is the mad or the rose gold sunset all right next i have these two color pop palettes this is the Femme Rosa palette. It was a collaboration. I'm keeping this one. And this is, which one is this? This is the I Think I Love You palette. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm trying not to blind you guys. I think it's really, really pretty, but I only use out of here but oh, I don't know maybe I might get rid of this one these are my two essence palettes I think that these are great palettes they're extremely cheap at like I think they're like seven dollars for what you get they're gorgeous but I don't use these so I'm gonna give these a new home this is my Carly Bible palette, the first one that she came out with. This is really, really pretty, but I have so many palettes that this gets lost in the shuffle and I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to give this one a new home. Next I have this Pixie um, Dulce Candy collaboration. The a Cafe Con Dulce Sweet Glow Palette. This palette is gorgeous and you can use this as a highlighter. Just oh, this palette is so so pretty. Keeping this. Next I have this um, Rimmel Magnifies Crimson Palette. I remember when this came out, it, oh, I was so pumped because the Naked Cherry hadn't came out yet, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Cherry, which I have and which I do like. Um, it's all good to have dupes, but this is just getting lost in the shuffle and actually think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Alright, next I have these four NYX palettes. Right off the bat, I know I'm keeping this one. It is called Rustic Antique and it's gorgeous. I'm keeping that one. This one I think is Golden Hour. Yeah, this one's ultra pretty too and I'm gonna keep that. These are the Earth and Fire palettes. These were pretty expensive, even for NYX. The Perfect Filter palettes are right around 10. I think these were like 22. I have not, I haven't used these. I always say I'm gonna use these, but I really am just not. I just don't reach for them. They don't say anything to me, so I'm gonna pass these on to a new home. So I have these 
to wait. No. <laughs> I was gonna say I have these two L'Oreal palettes. Um, one's L'Oreal and one is CoverGirl. But look how similar these are. Um, they're really similar. I'm actually going to keep both of these because I do like both of these. Um, I know it's silly because I'm on here like, oh my god, they look so similar. This one smells like peaches and it's really, really nice and pigmented. And this one is beautiful as well and it also smells like peaches. I don't know actually. I don't know. So I just did a swatch comparison. The right side is the L'Oreal and the pink packaging and the left side is CoverGirl. Um, I actually prefer the L'Oreal one more than the CoverGirl one. So I'm going to get rid of the CoverGirl and keep the L'Oreal. Next I have these five Wet n Wild products. I'm going to keep all of these because these are such an amazing deal and such good quality. Alright, these are my Makeup Revolution palettes. I am going to keep all of these. I have Iconic Fever, Neutrals 2, and Neutrals 3, I believe. Reloaded Neutrals 3, yeah. Reloaded Neutrals 2. Fever. These palettes are so so good. And then I have this Self X palette that I've used a couple times. It's, it's really good, but I'm gonna pass it along to somebody who might get some more use out of it. Okay, these are all of my <laughs> Maybelline palettes. Because Maybelline, they make really good eyeshadows these days. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I am going to keep all of my City Mini palettes because these are amazing little palettes. And I know I'm going to keep, let's see, this is the um, City Kits Pink Edge. I'm keeping this because it's so, so gorgeous. I have the new map bar. This is newer. I'm keeping this because it is a stunning little matte palette to have. Soda Pop, Lemonade, then these. This is the Burgundy Bar palette. It is so, so, so pretty, but I don't reach for it, so I'm going to give this a new home. I told myself I was going to be harder on myself. This is the Total Temptation palette. It's really pretty. I like the fact that it has warm and cool tones to it. I am actually gonna hold on to this. Try to get more use out of this. These two are just so fun and so pretty that I'm gonna keep these. They are actually so, so fun. Okay, and lastly are my Morphe palettes. I'm gonna start with these singles here. I'm actually gonna get rid of these because I'm pretty sure all of these colors are somewhere in these and I don't need the singles. I am gonna keep the container. Probably, probably not. I'm probably just gonna give these all to my sister. Next, I have this taupe palette that I love. I've got some use out of. I love purples and browns and grays. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the the R. Yeah, the 35 R. This is browns and golds. This is gorgeous. I need to give this some more love, but oh, so stunning. This is the 3502. Going anywhere. Then I've got the <laughs> Jaclyn Hill Vault and the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I feel really bad about breaking the vault up. <laughs> is that is 
is that bad? Is that bad? Um, I do know I'm keeping the original Jaclyn Hill palette because I get quite a bit of use out of this. I do use this guy right here. This is gorgeous. I'm going to keep this one. This is the purple one. That one. Mm, yeah. This is like the only one that I don't use. And oh, I love the colors so much. I'm going to keep it. So these were the two maybes. And after going through all of my palettes, I can honestly say that I'm going to put these guys with the giveaway pile. The I, I just don't use and don't need any more pile. Alright, I, I think I did okay. I actually got rid of some palettes that I didn't think I was going to, but I didn't feel any kind of way about them. I could have done better. But these are all the ones that I am going to get rid of in my collection. Looking back over, the only one that I am kind of sad about getting rid of is this Carly Bible palette. But I have those shades, so goodbye to these guys. All of these will get rehomed because <laughs> they just, some of them were used pretty well, some of them were used maybe once. So, goodbye.